Your son is gone. Unequip your weapon. Yeah, Krav Maga time. Let's do it. Huh? Uh -huh. This video was made possible by viewers like you on Patreon. And remember, if you really like our content, you can always become a member for as low as $4 a month and gain access to videos and perks such as being able to talk to us directly and other things I haven't come up with yet. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. That's my job. <laughs> Star Wars. The Sith Lords. It is a perilous time for the galaxy. A brutal civil war has all but destroyed the Jedi Order, leaving the ailing Republic in the verge of collapse. Amid the turmoil, the evil Sith have spread across the galaxy, hunting down and destroying the remaining Jedi Knights. Narrowly escaping a deadly Sith ambush, the last known Jedi clings to life aboard the battered starfighter near the ravaged world of Paragus. That's how you do a fucking opening. Take notes, episode one. <laughs> oh, that's Fanboy funny. asks if the character creation is any different in this one. A little. Like, it's definitely upgraded, but uh, not not by much. Oh shit, our ship is fucked. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Ah, uh, so I have with me right now the Book of the Sith. We're joining the dark side, aren't we? Ah, uh, we can. Or we can go light. What I love about the, the Book of the Sith is that it's actually made by Darth Sidious. The idea is that he took all the collection of lost Sith stuff that he could put together and made like a little book. Remember like um, Indiana Jones' dad? Oh, yeah. And then we have that journal. That's basically what this is. And then Luke like refined it into a, like a proper book. And they put a bunch of his notes everywhere because he's a narcissist, apparently. Most of its crew are dead or dying. The Evan Hawk died? <laughs> no, the Evan Hawk's fine. Sidious actually makes a really good point how a lot of old Sith, like Scion, Mag Magnus, Bane, Mother Talzin, and Plagueis, all were so rigid in their own beliefs that if they had met each other, they probably wouldn't have found much common ground. Oh, I probably should have listened to the prologue. I mean... Oh, did you skip the prologue? Yeah. Oh, it, it, honestly, it's just the droid... It, it's literally just you te teaching you how to play the game. It's just the tutorial. It's literally just that. It, and you, you, you uh, play as the little droid, the, t the little T1 unit. And you fix the Ebon Hawk and then fly it in. It, honestly, you're not missing much context of the story there. So feel free to... Walk around, inspect everything. Not much going on in here, honestly. So, th that uh, Kelto tank, which is like a Bakta tank, but not, because they haven't discovered Bakta yet. Um, you could come back to, while you're in this area, this first beginning place, you can always come back to that and heal yourself. Okay. The morgue is locked. That door's busted, but that one is open. So there's medical logs... Oh, all the patients. Patient three seems to be fine. Well, you might need to use that console to. There you go. Well, there's also a door behind you too. There you go. I know I said I wasn't gonna backseat game, but. <laughs> hey, if you enjoy what you're watching, make sure to check us out on. Twitch at twitch.tv slash two rude dudes. We'll see you there and we enjoy your company. Check that morgue out. Apparently one of those bodies recovered. Nice. Plasma torch.
find what you're looking for amongst the dead. Yes, I had hoped as much. I slept here too long and could not It's always good to read out, maybe the, I read oh, out the dialogue. And your mind must have been oh, right, because your character doesn't changed. talk. Right, and, you know, you know how audiences oh. feel about reading. <laughs> so you could touch minds and feign death. Who are you? <laughs> yes, you touched my mind, Giggity. Who? Who are you? I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, Kreia. as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? I remember. I was aboard a Republic ship, the Harbinger. Oh, that doesn't sound right all, at all. Harbinger is never a good ship. What happened to it? Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. A result of your Jedi training, no doubt. I, I, I'm a Jedi? Mm -hmm. she, you know, like I told you, she followed Revan into battle. Yeah, I'm not a Jedi in the Jedi Order Your anymore. Sons. Your walk tells me you what? are a Jedi. It's not really a Your choice. You, you actually aren't in the something. Jedi Order Ways anymore. You, you can out. So it would seem. Yeah, so troubled history. Ah. Where are we? I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. We? Why do you think we... Ah, uh, yeah, we're, we're together. Is there any... Just these... Ah... Uh, why are we in a hurry? And I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons, and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. Uh, yeah, 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 I see your point. You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impressions. This is fair. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of in underwear. Yeah, you are. Alright, so I'll return to make sure you're alright. Because I well, don't There are more think... options down below, too. Oh, and just that one. Trust me, you're going to need her. I'm not offering to help you. I'm not so young as to leap from death's door as quickly as you. <laughs> <laughs> even, me, even her look on her face is like, Bitch, are you serious? <coughs> I'll stay here, I'll come back for you. <laughs> Alright. I leave you to considerations of this place. Here I will remain and attempt to center myself. Yeah, you do that, bitch. Uh oh. Got some light side points there, D. You already searched that body. So, um, go into your inventory. Then go over to your right hand. There you go. Equip the plasma torch. There are some things I'm just going to have to instruct him on how to do just to get through it. You can bust open that broken door. Broken door. Break some more. It's a weapon and a tool. Say hello to your sonic screwdriver. Hit them with it. Just attack them with it. Why are you targeting Hit A and stop moving her. Hey, don't, don't keep bashing it. Don't keep bashing it. If you want to add to it, you hit X hit A and it'll start the attack and then you hit X on the individual separate attacks and that'll add to it. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Otherwise we're Learning just gonna curve. Get, yeah. Otherwise we're just gonna get a bunch of beeping sounds for the next hour. And... Mining laser. I'll take that for something later. Probably sell it. They're not that powerful obviously. There you go. And by the way, basic attack which is what you're using, you don't have to stack that. She will just auto do that. See? Huh. Yeah. It's all the extra moves that you unlock that will do it. Also, if you're in a room and you don't know if anything can be searched, left and right trigger will cycle through any of the things. Oh. So if they're not doing that, then there's nothing there. Okay. Yeah. It makes it way easier because you don't have to, like, walk up to a thing in an awkward fucking angle. Would you hate that in games? See? It does that. 
convenient, right? And then you can just hit A. All you gotta do is highlight it, hit A, and she'll walk right to it. You don't even have to do anything. This is the exit, but it is sealed. Strange. In my visions, it was open. <laughs> Bitch, you talking in my head? In my head? Zombie. Well, then you can't go that way yet. Mm -hmm. You have security skill? You can pick locks and you won't break things. Oh, that's what I broke. Yeah. Like stabbing it. It's always good to always go through all these. Check security records and stuff like that. Is this thing on? All right. All hands, especially you, Corner. Listen up, because I'm not going to say this again. The next one of you Juma heads to try and smuggle a blaster, or so help me, any sort of military-grade frag weapons into my facility is going to take a long walk out the airlock. Why? Because in case you forgot, Paragian fuel explodes at high temperatures. That's what blasted that chunk out of Paragus 2 and created this asteroid field. So if I catch any of you with anything other than sonic charges or mining lasers, I'll burn you and your contract. Security. Wow. That's um... <laughs> they blew context. up the planet. <laughs> no, the planet accidentally blew up. And according to one of the miners, it was because one of the sonic charges went off prematurely. And like before, it was one set by a mining droid. The three idiots were grouped so close to the charge, it might as well have been a grenade going off. The blast turned their bones to dust. The blast wrecked the internal components of the droid that set the charge, though. So we can't even dissect it to see what happened. I don't like what's going on here. Ever since that Jedi showed up, things are getting worse. It's not just Corda and his miners, or the fight. Now the droids are acting crazy. If we don't find what's causing this, or who, this facility's gonna be space dust by the time the next Helos freighter arrives. <coughs> so, you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, Did someone put a magnet on them? Ensuring. It isn't happening. <laughs> so the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I can just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Med Bay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids <coughs> sell the Jedi to the exchange. To clear a path I remember to hearing about that in the last game. And stop him. In the meantime, yeah. make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Oh, so you want a plasma rifle. I installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. <laughs> As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding... Oh, so that's why the door's locked. Sure it can only that's a different door. All ah. in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any skill to pull off something like this but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield Whoever's minefield oh no. minefield oh god that moment from uh, galaxy quest comes in the mind oh yeah oh my god those mines <laughs> that's a great scene that's a great movie it's funny when they ranked the best Star Trek movies that one ranked at like number three galaxy quest I mean, it is what Spaceballs was to Star Wars. Even though Spaceballs was kind of making fun of all the other tropes as well, but it definitely was going for Star Wars more than anything. Like, they did do the, Scotty beamed me up several times last night, or twice last night, whatever she said. It's been, it's been ever since I watched that movie. Oh, yeah. The fucking Skywalker OG hash. Let's see how that tastes. Uh, yeah, I'm also only going to be on camera for the intro. Okay. Yeah. Because, like, most of it's just me staring at the screen watching. <laughs> it's not a lot going on there. 
Sometimes I'm necessary on screen, sometimes I'm not. It's okay. It's okay! It did not matter. Can you overload anything there? That'd be nice, right? Nah. Hey, hey there's a dude in there. Are you, sir? Did you check the guy? Did I check the guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now, this game... So if something's empty, it actually tells you. Go like look at the look at the guy. See? Oh, good. Yeah, isn't that I, nice? That's nice. <laughs> yeah, they don't do that in the first game. Handboy is like seventy percent looking at the screen, thirty percent looking at a book. Ah, uh, more like twenty percent looking at a book, ten percent eating pizza <laughs> and drinking booze. Kira, what? Kraya, Kraya, right? Isn't that what? You not sense them? Reach out Shut the fuck up, Karen. It's her name now. Dot Karen. Let me see your manager. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive. But the small oscillations of energy that you can feel. Feel these nuts in your mouth. Okie dokie, I've Archer. gained passive precognition. Wow! Yeah. I mean, that's just a power of a Jedi. So, the thing is, your character is a Jedi. Exiled. Lost contact with the Force. And is now regaining that through her connection with Kreia. Remember, folks, save often. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting it. Don't worry, we put it on easy. If he dies, I'm gonna fucking. If I die I'm gonna in be really surprised. mode, I'm gonna so never hear the oh, end. Oh no, of no. It. This is the beginning level, but tutorial mode, you skipped. <laughs> it was kind of cool because you got to ride on top of the Ebon Hawk as T1. You got to ride on the outside of it, which is kind of unique because you don't get to do that at any other point in the game. At least I don't think so. Oh, it's been a while since I played this one. Turn away from it. This I can't listen. It's from a galaxy far away. All right. Come. I shall guide you down. Come. I already did, baby. Oh. oh. We are to survive and escape this place. Yay, force abilities. Put locker. All those are searchable. All right. Cool. Stealth field generator. Remember, right trigger, left trigger can uh, select things. Why did you stab it? All right, I got some more of these guys to deal with. Come on, you can do it. There you go. There we go, stabby stabby. Now, you gotta level up, by the way. See your character's oh. face? So press A. You don't want, you never wanna auto level up. Ooh, unarmed specialist. Nice, so go to skills. Um, security. Put it into security. I just, I put it all in there. You're gonna need it, trust me. Yeah. Powers. Ooh, 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 what should we give you? So there's burst of speed. The only thing I don't like about burst of speed, it's great for getting around big places, but then it's got this blurry effect. Oh, oh, effect mind. For conversations. So you could force persuade people. So you could everyone can be people be like, you will tell me what's up, bitch. Yeah. Alright. At the beginning you want to be able to talk your way out of shit and pick your way out of anything. Okay. So, um, no, no. Uh, press down the D-pad. Unequip your weapon. Yeah, Krav Maga time. Let's do it. Huh? Uh huh? You're like, who needs a fucking lightsaber? You're gonna come in. Okay, I want to make this story of, like a Jedi who never uses a lightsaber because they just find it to be, you know, barbaric. Or unnecessary. It's like if you cannot accomplish something with your bare hands, your mind, and the force, it's not worth accomplishing. 
Like, Fair even if, enough. Like, if I was to, like, write a story for Rey, for, like, to follow up her story from the sequel trilogy, I would make it where she meets a master who knows Skywalker, knows of Palpatine, knows she is not a Skywalker, and puts that bitch in her fucking place without a lightsaber. It's like, go on, attack me. But you're unarmed. <laughs> to you. <laughs> It's like that moment with someone like me using the power of the force for combat. I don't need a lightsaber. I've no. got the fucking force. Yeah. I've got the force in my mind. I mean, the different martial arts I know and then That's why I love that. That's why I love that scene with Mace Windu in the 2D uh, Clone Wars cartoon where he's beating the shit out of all the robots and then pulling out all their stuff with the force and, like, just using his fists. There you go. There, now you can go through that door. It's behind you. Yeah, there you go. I feel like Sorry, the, the mini map is a little. Uh, it's odd. a little. Uh, it, it's a confusing place. I only know it because I've played this game probably like fucking twenty times. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. He's a scoundrel. He's a swindler. He's a liar. But you have nothing to fear <laughs> from this one, and he might yet prove useful. Everyone might yet prove useful. That's At the very least, he's a dick to ride on your way to Coruscant. <laughs> nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniforms while I've been in here? <laughs> very funny. Get those eyes up. Tell me who you are. <laughs> Rand. Rand, huh? Rand, shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. <laughs> You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. The Jedi. The Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. He doesn't know you're the Jedi. Jedi. The Republic is going to be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocleus skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups. It's noon, by the way. Then there was some big explosion. If you want some whiskey, I was sitting here for a long time. And you showed up in your underwear, and things got a lot better. Hey, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> with them dick sucking lips and those cat smoky eyes. eyes. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi. Everyone's got something against Jedi. They're Jedi. Yeah. Surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. Even when they're doing good, there's so much collateral damage that people play. It's kind of like with the Avengers, or like the Incredible Hulk. What's the even exchange? when he does good? <laughs> Mostly operate out of Nar Shaddaa. Narshada, spice, and slave trading. Now I guess they're posting bounties. You've been to Narshada in a game? I don't recall. Well, I know you're gonna. Like I said, I don't know too much about it. You don't. But I want knowledge. Knowledge is Either power. Way, hey, Paddington. To Welcome it. to the stream. Welcome. Uh, for those just joining, D is the one playing, not me. Did the exchange wipe all of my Jedi out? It was war that thinned the Jedi, not the exchange. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows? Oh. No Jedi Council. That sounds like I'm in charge then. <laughs> I heard stories of the Sith. Are they good guys still? <laughs> Oh, the Mando Wars. Yeah, what yeah, that's what he was yeah, talking about. Evan Malik and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Uh, I've been naked, floating in a tank for a while. <laughs> no, she's just been away. She was not privy to all the information that we have. Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith. Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. I heard rumors that Revan defeated Malak. Um. Uh, should we go with the canon of what we've already done? I, I thought that's the canon of what we did. That's what we that's did, what yeah. We did. That's we, the canon, yeah. We saved yeah. them. Yeah, I heard you saved everyone, and everything's cool. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know, women. 
Malik, <laughs> Malik wasn't a woman. Malik was a man. Hey, Reverend was a man, excuse me. Literally Finn. I mean, that's canonical to what we just did. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. Uh, that's dumb. That's dumb of you. <clears throat> All these are uh, the same, basically. All these Look, options. Not like your half-naked interrogation isn't a personal fantasy of mine. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. What? Where is no. It? No, no, I'm I'm the Sith. Like, uh, 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 Mark Wahlberg. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in that fucking dumb movie where the trees kill everyone. <laughs> You're here to kill me, aren't you? What? No. I don't. You don't know what happened? I don't know what. Damn it. Stop playing dumb. Can't all be gone. They're all it's dead. Gone. Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. Liar. Can't. No, I've that's true. Out of trouble countless times. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down this cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship and then we fly out of here. I might be able to fly a ship out of here without you. <laughs> yeah. I... I mean, you can trust him. <clears throat> there you go. That's that's definitely more you. Yeah, that is me. I'll cut you, Great. folk. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Just stare at me. Don't make any sudden moves, boy. Yeah. Or I'll peg you to death with my girl dick. <laughs> <laughs> she just pulls out a huge strap on. He's, ah! All right, here we are. Now this I call it my lightsaber. It glows in the you dark. <laughs> the asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated. Forty-two right. minutes in. The Found the rude moment. Crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Uh -huh. Thing is. Bounce that same transmission back to the comp here. Ah, you can also bounce these the nuts. The bounce USA. on them nuts, baby. Come on, dude. Now, pure need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and hey, Zach, Zach, he's a Lego maniac. Sounds like you're about to tell me. Do you remember Zach the Lego maniac? You don't remember those commercials? No. Oh, I'm man. about to get violent. Who do I hit? The system's been severed from the main hub. After it was I used to get the Lego moment. magazine as a kid. Did you ever get that? Really? Clean. I think it was kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> there you go. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight and leave us here. Giggity giggity. Trapped. Giggity 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 goo. Oh, there must be some way to end the lock. Doubt it. All we have is communications <clears throat> back. For all the good trying to shout in the vacuum will do us. <laughs> yeah. In space, no one can hear you cry like a girl. In space, no one can hear you cream your pants. Actually, they can. Makes that split, split sound. We could try. But if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably Nasty. kill you, why not call them and chat? I think <laughs> a friendly call is going to wake them up. Maybe. Maybe we should... Maybe there's something we can get answers from. Hackist. Not much else we can do. Tom's all yours. Dark side points. Yeah. Hell yeah. Get a little evil up in this bitch. Is anyone there? Do it. Do it. Diagnostics. Do it. Can you access the terror lift? I'd say do that. Come on, give me something. Question, just follow my orders. Really? 
<laughs> Come on. Depressurize the whole level. Alright, so now you play as this little bugger for a while. Yay! So yeah, start checking everywhere. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Yeah, he's got built-in security. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. No, no. Go over one with your D-pad. No, the other way. Yeah. Use the shock arm. There you go. There you go. You might want to save. Yeah. It's going to get a little dicey in here. All the way over. No. Yeah. To the where the hammer is. There you go. Save. Been a while since you saved. Yeah. Uh, now you want to go back that way. Definitely. There's a lot to do. Yeah. Now just shoot him. There you go. You don't want to overuse that because it only it has only so many uses. Ah. Yeah. But you can always pick up more. You can also get flamethrowers too. Flamethrower. I love the one person. Well, I can't remember what we were playing, but they're like, oh, uh, one person is such a backseat gamer. It's like, hey, do you want to watch somebody bumble around for two hours at a place that could take them 20 minutes? Because hmm. I fucking don't! Yeah, there's some some of the things that just suck that way. Yeah, dude, like, come on. This is kind of a ranged weapon. There you go, see? This is why I put it on easy. Nice. I'm gonna need those later. Also, all that. Let's see anything else. Anything. I don't look like it. There you go. We're gonna get ya. You don't want to shock him. Hit them with that shock arm again. No, that's not gonna do it. They have they have shields on. And you're gonna have to use the shock arm. Actually the shock arm might be unlimited. We'll check. Press start. Go uh press right trigger. No, right trigger. A right trigger. You go over to the shock arm to your right next to death. Click it. Yeah, unlimited uses. Sick. Okay, just use the fuck out of that then. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. I don't have to worry about him too much. We are going to meet some bigger droids, but... See if you can put one of the grenades in that door that wouldn't budge to your left. Yeah, that one. Um, Over on the D-pad. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no. Right there, just right there. Sonic Mine. Put it in the door. Press it again. What did it say? There you go. Yeah, fuck you, game. Stop giving him random tutorials. I am the tutorial! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay, yeah, you can't use him. It's just supplies that you would miss otherwise. There's three containers in there. Ooh, a shielding visor. Nice. That'll be useful later. Alright. Good shit. Alright, now there's that door. Oh, there she is! There's the babe. There's that good shit. Hangar 25 is where the Ebon Hawk is, and of course it's not that easy to get it, right? Why would it be? Hmm. Yeah, get up a little closer. There you go. Zap. Satisfying. Wait a minute. 
You think they would have had electricity weapons to deal with these fuckers if they went rogue, right? So, but I guess not. They're robots. At least throw water balloons at them. Hey, yeah. <laughs> the always overpowered astromech droid. Yep. Right, you can log out, I think. Yep, there you go. Hamboy's like, <laughs> a mouse droid can attack and the entire John Williams <laughs> ensemble will start playing. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Not really, though. So, uh, how long have you been a Jedi? Must be tough. You know, no family, no husband. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, no, no worse than you staring at my tits, yo. Hey, I wasn't trying to... Yeah, you're still staring at him. Stalk at him. Hey, what do you know? A little cargo. Could use the force to blind you, you know. I will. Strange and in contact us though. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Uh, they're, they're locked down, dude. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Yes. Are you? That I guess. explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Then you're coming with me. Yeah. You're either really brave or really crazy. Or both. Boss. Boss is good. Things from up here. Be careful. The only thing those things aren't mutually exclusive. Like mining droids, so don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, too hard. Yeah, that's what he what said. To you right <laughs> I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Maybe able to get from up here. Because it's tight, Harlan. Thank you, Harlan. To get too deep, though. <sighs> yeah. Ooh. Yep, that's the way. I think. Right? Nope, I guess not. Try down the hallway to your left. More to your left. Left, 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 left. That's your right. Make an L with your thumb. That was like a door right around here, wasn't there? There it is. We just fucking straight past it. To your left. Left. Right there. That's where it was closed. Okay. Here we go. Here we go to the mining. Yeah, that was a bunch of annoying. Where the fuck? See, even somebody who's played this game a bunch, after like enough right time has gone by, you forget. There's a lot of interference down there. Probably caused by that explosion. What explosion? There's no explosives. Well, yeah, there was an explosion, explosion before we woke up. Be alertful. Tell me when there's shit gonna come up on me. Alright, now you got hey. some clothes. Press start. Left trigger and uh, right trigger. There you go. Yeah. Miner outfit. You might want to put on a Telos mining shield. And uh, with your belt, you can put on an invisibility. Or a safety harness will help you with demolitions. Allowing you to recover um, mines, which you can sell later. Go up to the top row. Surveying gear to allow you to see mines better. <clears throat> nothing there, nothing there. Okay, that's all you need. And then you got your Fist of Fury. Damn it. Uh, I good. Good to hear it. No sense in you running around half naked. It's, it's distracting. I mean, for the droids. But there may be some survey gear in the safety harness. Jackass. Some red versus blue level of comedy here. Uh, <clears throat> and the uh, distorted mic sound doesn't help with the sounding like red versus blue characters. Oh, yeah. Like early season stuff. Alright. Understood. Yeah, it's like a military issue, energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. <laughs> 
It's a shield. Certainly not against multiple laser hits, but it may buy you some time if you get ambushed by a battalion of droids. Why is there a battalion? Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, why is there? I I I know how to work, man. You, you stop talking about tutorial. Alright, let's go. Uh, just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals. Oh, uh, stop talking! You're annoying me, dude. You just skip his fucking dialogue if it's that annoying. Jeez, cry about it more. Don't worry, you can kick the ass of anything you run across. I kick its ass. You you had it, D. Jesus. Leave it the fuck alone. You have it. It's it's highlighted in red, so it's probably hard for you to see. There you go. Just, just go after him. If, it, if that's who she goes after, you, don't worry about it, man. It's not like you're gonna die. Look at you. Your health hasn't even moved. Kick that fucking droid. Target that that circle up there. He's just gonna keep healing him. God damn it! Fucking target it. Press B. Now use the trigger to target. Use the triggers to target, dude. There you go. There you go. See? Hey, watch out. Shut up, Atten. Now, you don't want to walk through there. No, that's death. Yeah. You gotta turn the shield on first, and even then, I would search the area for supplies and then save. Before going through that gas, and then activate the shield. Don't step in that. Shut up, dude. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Like, like, like. You can handle yourself fine. There. You can recover those, by the way. I think. Wait. Press down the D-pad. No, you can't. Never mind. You don't have the skill yet. You have to wait. Oh, I wouldn't fuck with those. You can you can walk through you can walk in between them very slowly. But it's not necessarily worth it. Like whatever they have, I would just keep going, honestly. If it was me controlling it, yes, but you don't Hi guys. Okay, you gotta target that one up there. There you go. All right, you have to. You should cancel your attack on. All right, you can level up as well. Hopefully, you get some demolition. Don't run from her. You prick. A skills. Yeah. All right, well, you can at least put a point. That's a good start. At the very least, you can uh, disable them with that. Let's say awareness. Give you a little something in that. Now, there should be more for the hand to hand if you go down, I think. What's this one? Conditioning. Hmm, maybe. Oh, there they are. Specialized. Oh, I guess they. Oh, I think those upgrade by themselves. So the more you use it, the more you gain. So just yeah, I think those unlock by themselves. If I remember correctly. So yeah, um what's this one? <clears throat> Caution. Uh, point for nah. 
We don't need that one yet. Let's go down one with the empathy. Oh yeah, that help you with persuade and awareness and treat injury. Yeah, that's probably good just for a basic start. Okay, you only get one feet at a time. Ooh, powers. There we go. Come on, give us something good. No healing yet. Oh my god, with the music. It's because we didn't finish the combat round, so the music is still fucking going. It's so good. You already got effect mine. Stun droid. That would be a good one to have right now. Yeah. Especially right now. Alright. Get out of this menu so the fucking music stops. Stop, music. Shut up. Okay, go in the middle part. Middle part, man. Sk skip that. Skip that. Go to the control. Yeah. Because they're going to come after you. Uh, unlock that emergency. Oh, you don't have three spikes. Fuck. Access fuel containment functions. Shut down the containment functions. There you go. Return to main functions. Call it droid command functions. Uh, I know what it. Cancel all mining functions on organics. That's probably the best you can do. And then you're gonna fucking get the fuck out of there. There you go. I'm gonna go, yeah, that way. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> what an asshole. I don't think you can unlock that. Oh shit, you can't, what the fuck? Get out of town. All right. Never mind. Nope. Nope. I'm going the wrong way. No. Where are you going? Just move the camera around so I can see what you're looking at, man. Because you're just looking at nothing. You gotta, you gotta use the camera, dude. Okay. Yeah. You're not. You don't need to be in here. I don't know why you're in here. So I said, go down the other. Like. Yeah. Like. Yeah, you can recover some mines and stuff, but I honestly I just want to get you out of this fucking level yeah. in one playthrough because this could go on really fucking long if we're just going into every single place. Yes, we know. I may be able to keep it contained until oh my god, shut up! Yeah, just, you can just bail now. Ease your way through. Oh my god! Imagine all. Imagine you had to fight all that, huh? Like going through fucking mis uh, the fucking silos in Ugh. 76, man. There. Oh, fuck it. Okay, I got you through that. A little piece of it. Ooh, is that your wrist? Yeah. Well. This would be a good place to leave it after this conversation, then. If you want to. Yeah. You got a good chunk of it. Pleasure to see you alive, Master. Provided my receptors are not off focus. For a second, you think it's HK47. I'm not your master. Elsa, I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Oh, God. <laughs> this is fair. I was your previous master. The captain of the Harbinger Master. Purposely <laughs> vague. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. No shit. How did you get here from Harbinger? And how did I? Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story <laughs> and not terribly relevant to our current situation. You don't take orders too well. Hesitant explanation. That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history <laughs> together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure 
radar that disabled the ship. Cascade, wow. I don't remember. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. Why? Clarification. Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor from which you could not awaken. Most curious. Or this, You're not helping. Or this obvious assassin droid is up to some shit. Meaning drugged. Placation, merely a turn of phrase, master. Dude, you, you, you're really making me mad. Where's HK? Was unintentional. I meant to communicate only that you were somehow rendered unconscious before you were locked securely in the Hey, buddy. Can you explain why I was locked? By locked. I meant by whatever. Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still space weather. Yeah, but Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger systems began to go critical. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. Fortunate? Yeah. We know what that was. Evaluation. Why would he know? I do not. And when it attempted to escape the Harbinger with you on board, it was fired on again. Addendum. It does seem odd that such a small vessel has a high probability of attracting the attention of much larger vessels. Not a welcome trait in a freighter, to be sure. Alright. Yeah. Trust me, he's going to be purposely not helpful. But if you want to save, we can call it here. Yeah. Because this is a whole other stint. This is like the second half of this level. So you might as well just call it here. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode of this. And to the guys on Twitch, we'll be back probably.